Hello everybody, it is Jack from Omnipoke, the channel that brings you guys everything Pokemon. If you guys are looking for PTC Geocodes, make sure you check out the Potown store where you can use the code Omnipoke for an extra 5% off your order. Today I'm bringing you the start of what I hope to be a really interesting series. Um, obviously, uh, when coming into this game, PTC Geo is a very, very big deal and learning to play PTC Geo is one of the best ways to learn to play. Um, but it can be quite daunting hopping straight into the game and uh, sort of not having any of the card, not having any of the very impactful cards, things like Dedenne, Crobat, all of this kind of stuff. Um, so I've always wanted to create a series which is starting from scratch, starting sort of back to basics, uh, which I think what I'm going to call this series, it's going to be called Back to Basics, where basically we start a brand new, fresh PTC Geo account, as you can see, or as you'll see momentarily. Uh, in fact, let's just head in and log in now. Uh, this account has never been used. I've only just created this, or well, I've only just started um, using this account. It's got nothing on it. It's got no cards. It's, I haven't played on this account ever. And I want to see, I want you guys to uh, go on sort of a journey with me, starting from absolutely nothing, no cards at all, and getting to uh, being able to play a variety of different decks, top tier decks. Um, and this way, sort of, sort of, you can see that this is a, completely um fresh uh, fresh account there's nothing um that's been done so far so this is the initial tutorial uh, but yeah it's a really it's a series that i think uh has a lot of potential to it um because there is a lot of uh sort of ways to well it's very easy to just pick up and play the game and learn it uh via this client this is um i think actually a fairly user-friendly client but once you get into uh, sort of the the main bulk of the game, it can be a little bit daunting, you know, trading, uh, which packs to buy, which uh, sets to look for, things like that. So I want to sort of go on go on a bit of a journey with you and help hopefully some new newer players out there who may have just started this game, um, learning how how to play the game. Uh, not necessarily me teaching you how to play the game, but how to uh, sort of progress through the online system on PTCGO. Um, you know, they have a ladder that you can get packs, uh, you can get coins and buy other packs. You know, there's uh, a variety of different um, things that you can do to make the whole game easier and the whole uh, experience of playing easier. Um, so yeah, that's the idea of this series, and I think it could be really fun. Uh, especially starting from nothing and trying to build up to some of these top tier decks like uh, Eternatus, ADP, uh, and throughout the the journey of the format, you know, uh, decks that get better and worse and things like that, being able to hopefully build up a collection where we can play a variety of different decks. Um, so yeah, I think this is this could be a really interesting series. Uh, the reason why I want to do this initial video though, this is going only going to be a very short video. Uh, but the reason why I want to do this initial video is because I want to know what you guys want to see. Um, so first things first, uh, there's a variety of different ways we could look at doing the series. Uh, it could be a completely free-to-play series in that I don't input a single PC Geo code in, and it is all done via coins, buying packs from the shop, and trades. Um, if I'm able to get any trade un unlocked trade stuff, uh, I think it would be interesting to obviously, like I say. If we do, if we do it that way though, trading is a very, very big part of PTC Geo, and if you just do it all via PTC, uh, if you all do it all via shop packs, um, it can be, you can sort of uh, lock off part of the whole PTC Geo client and the game, the gameplay element because you can't trade anything. So um, we could do it completely free to play and just have to try and grind packs. Uh, and build up a deck that way. It sounds interesting to me, but not quite as fun um, as potentially also going through the motions of trading, learning uh, good deals, bad deals, that kind of thing. So yeah, we could do completely free to play, uh, no codes. We could do uh, maybe we input just one one code to start with. Uh, codes are like what at most sort of forty, fifty p each, fifty cents each. So you could we could see how far we can get starting with one code and just trading from that, building up from that. Um, 
or we could maybe obviously there's been a lot of new products lately some really really good starting products things like the trainer toolkit things like the arena battle decks those picarom and rush yard arena battle decks all of these uh put you in a really really strong position to be able to um start playing the game very very uh a, a more competitive level immediately which is really really good i think for the future of the game um so we could maybe uh put in codes for products i would recommend for newer players things like like i say the trainer toolkit which gave you um i think it was around 30 to 40 uh really really good trainers that see play in almost every top tier deck um, as well as two to Den AGX, which again also see a huge amount of play uh, in decks. So we could do it like that. We could do it just like I say, the one the one code and build up our collection from one code via coins and building up shop bought packs, as well as Im implementing the trading element of the game as well. Um, so yeah, it, that's the kind of that that's something I want to ask you guys. Do you want to see? A completely bare bones, not a single code used. Do you want to see maybe one code, one or two codes at that, nothing else? Or would you like to see um, not necessarily a load of codes, but codes for a few decent products that I would, that I think are very, very good products to be um, putting money into? Things like, like I say, the trainer toolkits and the league battle decks. Uh, that would take away a little bit of the, um, I guess element of a journey because we would probably immediately be able to play a fairly like a fairly strong deck it may not be crazy good but something like um Picarom, it would probably be fairly accessible fairly quickly uh, so it may not be as appealing to do it that way uh but at the same time just grinding for ptcgo pack for coins for packs could be kind of boring oh i guess we can actually there is actually a way of doing it because when you um play in the tournaments we can get tournament tickets for tradable packs so actually we don't even have to input any codes so i guess that's the decision we need to make whether we uh play with things like the trainer toolkits and the league battle decks products that i recommend for newer players or whether we go completely bare bones um no uh sort of bonus packs at all uh we have to the only packs we can use are packs that we grind through uh using the 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 tournaments and tournament tickets like that uh, that could be really interesting as well so yeah that's that's decision number one do you guys want to see uh, a completely sort of stripped back only playing with um the cards we can get online or do you want me to put some money into things like trainer toolkits uh, as a bit of a head start the second decision is um, how would you want to see this content produced? So we have, uh, I can I can easily, like this could easily be a weekly series where I give you an update of what's happened, where you don't see everything, you just maybe see um, highlights if, any, if I've seen, if I've had any good games or, uh, you know, pack openings, that kind of thing, a little bit of an update. Or it could be a case of, um me recording everything and just doing an hour or so episode of just playing the game um even if it's bo like the, the issue i have with that is it may be a little bit uh it, the the content may not be very engaging because it's like it's going to be a lot of grinding it's going to be a lot of just doing theme deck tournaments that kind of thing um which some people really like the theme deck format isn't awful by any means but at the same time it may not be the most entertaining content uh, or I could stream this this could be um, a once or twice a week stream where I just play on this account and we know we're not gonna be playing at least for a little while any top tier archetypes or anything like that but um, it could be streamed and then maybe if there's decent highlights or maybe even the whole stream could be uploaded once a week um, for people that want to catch up again it's really up to you guys it's what you guys want to see. I'm pretty easy however you guys want to see the content. Um, but we have lots of options. Streams, mo uh, just short videos where there's not much going on. Longer videos where uh, I'm showing off everything, showing off all of the gameplay that we see. Uh, you know, it, it could be... Mm, let's 
steroid. Mm. Just stutter. Uh, it could be all manner of things. And like I say, I'm basically leaving it up to you guys to, to see what you guys want to watch. Because this is content for you guys. I, I've wanted to make a series like this uh, for a long time. But I don't feel it's necessarily going to be a particularly uh, interesting series if you guys don't have the input of what you want to see. Um, alternatively, maybe this is not something that you'd be too interested in and therefore you're not particularly bothered about how you want to s see it so you just want me to play it how I want it. I don't know. It's completely up to you guys. Uh, but other than that, like I say, I just wanted to do kind of a real back-to-basic series where we don't necessarily ex explain all of the mechanics and stuff in the game, but I want to go and look at at least um, how to start the game assuming you haven't haven't had any experience in this game at all uh no no packs no uh you know no no prior experience to playing the game at all just how how i would go around go about playing this game uh, if it was the first time i was playing so yeah other than that i think that's basically it for decisions that i want to kind of leave up to you guys um i think it could be a really interesting series i haven't started the game i haven't done the startup process of the game in probably close to like eight or nine years this game has been out now so this could be a really really interesting series i think it could be a lot of fun um and hopefully it'll create some pretty interesting sort of montage moments of you know me uh losing in theme deck tournaments and clutching in theme deck tournaments and stuff like that it could be something that i think uh could be very entertaining but yeah, it's down to you guys how you want the content to be produced, whether it's streams or um, via, you know, more traditional videos, whether it's, you know, and any of this kind of stuff. I'm pretty easy. I just want to know what you guys want to see. Um, I feel like either way, the first few episodes will be pretty uh, similar with whatever we pick because it's going to be a lot of doing the trainer challenge to try and get as many uh, tokens as we can get and then with those tokens buying theme decks and then with those theme decks entering theme deck tournaments and then with those the winnings from the theme deck tournaments starting to trade to build a bigger collection to go onto ladder um, and that kind of thing so yeah I think it could be uh, very exciting and we, it could make some pretty interesting moments uh, so yeah that's basically all the talking I wanted to do the rest of the video will just me be me finishing off this tutorial and the game so for all I know um, we could see uh, this could be longer than I expect but I think this should be the end after this it should be um, pretty quickly the end of the tutorial I'm pretty sure that you just have to play these five battles and then they throw you straight into having access to the ladder um, so, yeah, it could be pretty interesting. Also, I mean, uh, maybe there is uh, argument. Yeah, maybe there's an argument for maybe not skipping this tutorial. I'm just kind of rushing through this at the moment. Um, I don't know. Maybe there's argument for not skipping through the tutorial. Not that it it doesn't provide very much really. Um, it's just teaching you the mechanics. And like I say, I want this series to not necessarily be learning the mechanics of the game. I want this to be a I know how to play Pokemon, but I've never really played online. Or I don't know necessarily how to optimize my online play for uh, getting packs, getting doing trades, that kind of thing. Um, so that's what I have in mind for this series. So it looks like we're on to the final match. I think it looked like we got a free. We get a free pack if we win this, which is cool. Um, interestingly, I want. I don't know whether this whole. Uh, section is uh, pre-written or not whether we're guaranteed to you know draw an energy draw this exact hand to start with uh, whether our opponent is always guaranteed to start scythe or anything like that I really don't know whether this whole section is pre-written or not or whether it's um, kind of up for there is still variance involved I have no idea I would imagine I would imagine it's the starting hands are pre-written. But outside of the starting hands, I would say it's 
probably almost certainly going to be um, there's, there's still going to be some variance to it I always have no idea what the deck has in it so uh, we could be benching these well we know we have Raichus but I don't know whether we play Jolteon or not but yeah as you can see this uh, the whole tutorial isn't too taxing. Like, there's a lot we're going to have to be dealing with a Hydreigon at some point, which is spooky. Electrode seems pretty efficient though. Oh, we even have the Evo Soda for the Raichu. Do we have Jolteons? Okay, if we have Jolteons, they're prized. I would probably hazard a guess at not having Jolteons though. to see what this Hydreigon has to offer. No, just the Venonat. Interesting. Oh, the double heads on double hit. That's rough going. It's going to be moments like those that are going to be pretty crazy where we <laughs> randomly lose to a a double hit or something that I wasn't expecting at all. Didn't even get the paralysis. Do knock out with Electro Ball next turn though. Oh, maybe not. Here comes the Hydreigon. Can't attack though. Very interesting stuff. Go for that Electro Ball. This dude is 60, right? Yeah, 60, 40, 40. So it's not even a threat if you're, you're able to get two energy on. It's like, it's just going to be an attach pass. So I must admit, the AI in this game definitely leaves something to be desired. Uh, but there could be some pretty funny moments like that. But I think it also means the moments where I lose, because I'll definitely lose against the AI, don't worry. The moments where I lose, I'm going to look like a fool twice as hard because I've lost to someone who's been attaching to a Pokemon that's dead next turn frequently still seems to be pretty straightforward though build up some big attacks and just start tearing through the opponent like I say it's been a long time since I played uh, the tutorial or anything so I'm pretty sure I don't need to play things like letter and stuff I think we should be able to close this out here Here is the last Electro Ball. So I think we should get a pack for this. And it looked like a GX token as well. So we're allowed to use GX moves. Pretty cool. Let's see what uh, Professor has to say. We've got a free Whimsicott. Okay. And potentially a build around Pokemon. And we got a, a pack. Okay. Let's head over to the collection and open your booster pack. Okay. The collection. So this is a locked pack, unfortunately. Let's see what we get in this booster pack. Kicking things off. Mewtwo and Mew GX. Let's go. No, just the Honch Crow. Looks like you opened some good cards. Hmm. Interesting. So this is going to be another interesting part. Um, tr having to complete the daily challenges. Is actually going to be very relevant, I think, uh, because they will be rewarding packs, tokens. Um, I think you can get tournament tickets from them as well. So, yeah, these could be really, really relevant. Uh, but, yeah, that's where I'm going to leave it for today. Uh, I think we can go straight into the ladder if we want. Uh, oh, it looks like we can. We just have to do theme deck ladder. There's rewards. So yeah, uh, this is also going to be a really, really important time to try and build up ladder rewards as well. So yeah, I'm uploading this today. Um, hopefully in, I'll give this like two or three days, maybe just to, for people to figure out what they want to see. And in a couple of days time, I'll record the next episode or stream the next episode or whatever I decide to do uh, based on what you guys would like to see. And we can hopefully start building up a PTCGO account from scratch and seeing where we can get to. So yeah, other than that, thank you very much for watching. Hope you're looking forward to this series. Uh, it could be a really, really interesting one. 
and with some pretty unique gameplay and content i think and also stay tuned to omnipoke for some really really exciting announcements over the next couple of weeks we've got a huge project coming out um which we haven't really said anything about until now this will be the first mini sort of teaser for it but we have a really really big project coming out in the next couple of weeks so yeah make sure you stay tuned thank you so much as always for all the support i've been jack from omnipoke and i look forward to seeing you guys in another video